Well, what's happening, YouTubeverse? It's your boy, Darkularity, and welcome back to Occupy Mars. Now, we have a meteor storm incoming. <laughs> Danger is approaching from the skies, from the heavens above. It will rain down fiery meteors. So uh, we're gonna have to deal with that. I went ahead and I crafted up another solid rocket A. So we can assemble this and we can actually see if we're gonna get 10 this time. But the first thing I wanna sort out because this has been bugging me. It's been bugging me for episodes, but you know, you guys know I'm not, I'm not super proactive on stuff. I just kind of derp my way around here, but I want to, I want to take this tank down because it doesn't seem to be working the way it's supposed to be working. And it's uh, making me angry. So we're going to grind this guy down. The first thing I want to do today is, uh, I want to get this working. I want the oxygen tank to actually store oxygen and pass them some through to our base. Our base was fully pressurized previously. Uh, I'm getting distracted while I'm talking. And the reason why um, it's not now, yeah, I wanna turn you the right way. There we go. Um, is obviously because we've been adding lots of compartments to our base. So our little uh, oxygen machine in there is, uh, <laughs> it's running full time. I mean, she's just going. And uh, I'm hoping that with this oxygen machine, which actually I think produces less, even though it's massive, it produces less. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe now we're gonna get some uh, oxygen into the base. Meteor shower expected. Oh, we got one hour until a meteor storm. We get to see how these uh, meteor missiles are gonna work for us. But before that, uh, so the tank's done. Hopefully that uh, does its thing. We're gonna check on that as time goes on. Now, hmm, we need to assemble the rockets. So I always kind of started with, um, let's go ahead with the camera and we'll pop that in there. And then uh, I wonder, can I do the battery now? Where's the battery? There it is. I always had issues with the battery. Oh, it looks good. I wonder if they uh, fixed it up a little bit. We'll get these three segments in place. Ah, a meteor storm. I have been dreading this. I hope nothing gets destroyed on our base. It's, it's going to make me super, super sad. Okay, and then we're going to put the outer shell on. Oh my gosh, we're master of this. I'm so glad that we get 10 rockets from doing this one time. Also, I used up the very last little bit of silicon we had left to make this. So I'm hoping we don't need more than the 10 rockets we have uh, between these two rocket launchers and these 10 rockets here. Uh, will you not... You won't go in my inventory, will you? I mean, naturally, why would you go in my inventory? So I'm holding 10 rockets in my hands right now. These these machines can only hold five. <laughs> yeah, so we just drop it. We can't even put it in our inventory. Well, what if I what if I control click? Oh, it's in the inventory, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm such a silly goose. Silly goose. Okay, well, you know what? Hmm. There isn't much else I want to do around here. My plan, actually, because uh, I know I said last time I wanted to get out and explore and get more tablets, but yeah, we're not going to do that today. The reason why we're not going to do that today is I want to wait for the plants to grow up so I can replant more plants so we can get more points while we're away because that's probably... Warning. Incoming meteor shadow. Oh, no, okay. Warning. Okay, okay. All right, we got danger. Come on, rocket. Blast that boy out of the sky. Do your job. Do your thing. Oh, my God. Are you on? Are you on? Okay, well, that one looks like it's, uh... Holy crap, I'm... you almost got me in the head, bro! <laughs> okay, they're getting pretty close. Now, is it only targeting the ones... This is extremely loud. Oh my god, my ears are gonna explode. Uh, let me make a marker here so I can remember to turn this down for you guys, because <laughs> it's crazy loud. Now, I'm, I don't want these to run out. No way, are you already empty, dude? That, are you serious right now? Do I have rocks in my hands? Okay, yeah, supply. Oh my God, it's already empty. Okay, we need to run over to the other one real quick. Why am I moving so slow? <laughs> I'm moving, oh, that looked like it hit my water stuff. Oh my gosh, is it because of the rockets why I'm walking so slow? Okay, no, our water stuff is intact. How long does this last? I can't even make any more rockets. We have no more silicon. I wasn't expecting this to happen today. Oh no. Look how close everything's hitting our stuff. Oh, that sounded like things got hit. I'm lagging. 
Come on, man. Hurry up. Make it. Make it. We must supply rockets. And there. All right. That's all we can do. That's all the rockets we can make. We got to hope for the best now. Oh my gosh, performance is crazy right now on these. I, You know what? I wish it would only shoot the ones that were going to hit our base. Oh, that one looked like it's hitting stuff. I'm having major performance issues with these rockets and explosions. I'm sure there's some optimization that must be, uh, must be had. Did we survive unscathed? The symbol's gone. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We are having hiccups. Um, hmm. Well, hmm. I think, um, sorry, I got distracted there for a second. Um, you know, text messages come through and they always throw me off my game. Anyways, um, it looks like we survived unscathed here. So, Meteors ain't got nothing on me, but now I know well, I'm gonna need to stockpile more rockets and uh, keep them in storage because This guy's probably fully empty now. Oh, that was scary Yep, that's empty. We use 20 rockets in one meteor storm. I Mean at least we don't have to assemble one rocket to get one rocket anymore that uh, <laughs> I'd quit the game honestly <laughs> Now, I'm just going around looking to see if anything was damaged. And you know what? I think we survived our first meteor storm. Nothing looks damaged to me. I think we're great. I think we're good. Oh my gosh. Um, Yeah, that one's empty too. We went through 20 rockets and I don't think we lost a single thing. Oh yeah. That is what those rockets are meant to do. They're doing their job exactly how I wanted them to do. I love it. Now, I want to know if I have, um, I want to know if I have enough uh, materials or like another oxygen tank and a water tank. Definitely I do because I'm thinking, uh, and this is thanks to uh, Nightheart. Why won't you, um, why isn't it uh, clipping? There's something going on here. Oh, whoops, wrong button. I don't know. Doesn't seem to be wanting to clip. One second. Yeah, so uh, obviously in dark hilarity fashion, I was placing the wrong tank. <laughs> I know none of you guys are surprised because uh, if you're surprised, <laughs> that's surprising to me because I'm not surprised. So let's go ahead and disconnect this water pipe. We're going to weld up this tank here. And uh, this is just going to give us a little bit of extra storage. I know we got that massive tank, but man, they take up a lot of space. And if we don't need to use them, then maybe we won't. I don't know. Let's uh, get you plugged in up here. There we go. And uh, we're going to leave the big tanks for now. But I'm just worried that they may be bugged. Um, I don't think I don't think the water and methane ones are, but that oxygen one hmm, has me a little bit concerned. Okay, so we'll hook that up now. Hmm, where do I want to put a tall oxygen one? Let's see here. If we just have a little bit of room here. I'm totally cool with that. We can, uh, oh yeah, it's, see, it's on a grid. I hate that. I mean, I don't hate it. It's fine. I'm not complaining. Let's, um, I mean, why not? That's not a bad place for it. As long as we can still access our controller on our battery, then it's uh, no big deal. So let's, um, go ahead and pick up this oxygen one and we're going to connect you, sir up to the oxygen yep good and uh, then we can run this one over to the oxygen oh we got all the storage all the storage for days now we're gonna look at the our, our map here and um which one was it was it this one it tells us stuff this tank still has water in it that one has a uh, methane in it this tank still has is saying water to me it has to be lying. This tank has to be lying. What about you? What do you say? This one also says water. I know I'm, it might go on oxygen to oxygen. Well, yeah, because it's green. You're like, you're telling me that. Let me see what are you doing here? Yeah, it's green. It says oxygen's coming out there. Water's coming out the middle. Why do you say, uh, you know what? I'm gonna let it run for a bit. 
It might be bugged. I don't know. The oxygen seems to be uh, having issues. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Why do you say water? There's no way it could be water in it. I just removed it. Did I connect a blue? I never connected a blue host to that after I placed it. I, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So as I was saying before, the meteors started blowing stuff up or trying to because we have rockets and they didn't do nothing is uh, I want to, I really want the canteen. Before we go exploring, I want the plants to grow up so we can get more plant points and I can plant more because we're probably going to be away for a couple of days at least while we look for more tablets. I want to probably stay out honestly until we get enough tablets to finish off unlocking everything all of these um the things you get from the tablets right all of the tech so we're probably going to be out for a few days that way the plants can all grow up again and we can get even more greenhouse points to unlock whatever we need when we return so in order to do that we're obviously going to need some resources so i'm going to take uh, the big rovi rove out here are you charging right now no i think it's fully charged we're going to take this out and uh, we're gonna gather up some resources. You know what? I found out too, if you enter into this chair, like right now, the door closes on its own. Don't even have to worry about it. Yeah, we're fully charged, we're good. Let's get out here. Let's go and do some drilling to collect some resources. Um, I'm gonna collect the ones that are just real close by here. Let's get to our third person view here. I love the way this looks from third person. Such a beautiful rover. Ah. Uh, I can't remember what I named it now, I forgot. It was a pretty funny name though. It was, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll call it Bethany now. All right, pull up here. We're gonna start gathering these things up. Get out of the seat. Oh no, I wanted to be in the seat. What I wanna do is I wanna hit tab and I don't wanna be in third person. So let's go ahead and switch right to our drill. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't want me to uh, drill. There we go, thank you for switching. All right, we can bust this bad boy out again. I did try it in third person. I don't like doing it in third person. And then uh, a comment on one of the videos said like the more you drill, the less you get. But I can't seem to like, I mean, maybe I can drill out the middle section, but you kind of have to go from the top down, right? And break them apart so that you're able to hold them. Hope I'm not wasting too many resources, but I don't know. I'm not max min in this. I'm not going for perfect uh, efficiency. I'm not, I'm not a driller. I am on Mars. Okay. Oh man, this is like the first rock that can reach the whole darn thing. We'll separate these out. Um, I wonder if that's small enough for me to, probably not. Let's drill it one more time, two more times. Yeah, I should hopefully be able to pick that up. We don't need much. I don't need much silicon. I don't need too many things to build the um, um, canteen or whatever you want to call it. I want to get that done, though, while we're waiting for those plans. We can get that done. And then, uh, yeah, next episode is when we're going to go on our big adventure and hopefully get the rest of the tablets and all that stuff sorted out here. Now, you guys drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. I don't see, I don't know, I'm indecisive. So that's why I wanna ask you guys. You guys tell me what you want. Now I'm thinking I can either rework, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's just out of reach. I can either rework uh, our base that we have now rebuild it, kind of do a different layout because we want to do the greenhouses and stuff. Or should I just keep with the layout that we currently have? Uh, yeah, this piece is too big to pick up. Okay, fine. Fine. Or I can, uh, yeah, I can keep going with the layout that we have there and add on to the back of it for our greenhouses. Or... Um, and keep rolling with that because I do want to do another save of this at some point. I mentioned that last video and uh, but I wanted your guys' opinion. Do I keep rolling with the way the base is now and wait to do a new base design and layout now that, you know, we're a little bit more experienced with it until uh, we do another save or do I rebuild this base here and do a different layout? I'm uh, I'm torn. I honestly, I don't want to... It's not that I don't want to. I don't mind, I guess. I would rather do a new 
a new save at some point well, because we've learned so much from this one like already i'm gonna leave that one rock there i'm not moving i'm not repositioning for one bloody rock Ooh, look at all these a rock jungle but anyway guys drop a comment down below let me know let me know what you think um i'm happy with the way the base is progressing but you know it's hard to get a layout in mind until you have all the stuff unlocked till you're ready to build things oh these ones are uh, these little ones these little ones are juicy whoa 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 um i don't know if it's these this little one or those ones but some of them yeah they're actually pretty juicy with the resources let's get out a third person here switch over to our drill oh yeah there we go all right well i'm gonna gather some resources here <laughs> commencing time lapse now Well, we are back now with a load. Now I'm thinking we're probably not gonna need more than one load. Uh, that rock was really annoying to get through. <laughs> it kept breaking into real small pieces, making it really darn difficult to drill out. Okay, so let's get in here uh, a little further. There we go, let's unload this. We can get out while this is happening, I believe. Okay, how are we looking? Yeah, you're, you're emptying. Oh, I wish you saw the stuff falling in there. That's okay, though. It's all right. Now, do we have enough? Let us see. I want the canteen. Where are you, sir? Uh, hanger, the battery packs, all that stuff. Naturally, I bet you I probably passed the darn thing, didn't I? There it is. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We're looking good on everything. Okay, add. No, I need more silicon. How much silicon did we get from that? Uh, that's calcium. We got tons of iron. Yeah, we didn't get much silicon from that load. Well, <clears throat> back out again. Yep. We will go grab another load then so we can uh, finish this up. Uh, we'll close you and away we go. Q time lapse number two.
you know what? <clears throat> I was just thinking, you know what would be cool with this rover is um, rather than having like a drill bit attachment on the end, like a drill laser, that would be badass. Uh, you know, if, if mods come to this game, I <laughs> mod creators, listen up here. Give me a mod laser attachment for the end of this. That would be badass. If you guys have ever played like Star Citizen, how like they have like the lasers, oh, some kind of laser mini game in this for for drilling would be so much better. Although, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Um, taking this out and gathering resources is a lot better now that I've turned the music back on. <laughs> I don't just hear the sounds of the drill. So it is a, it's a little bit better in that aspect, I suppose. Oh, we need to have ourselves a little snacky poo. Oh my gosh, we're getting hungry. Let's uh, have ourselves some uh, spaghetti. There we go. Good. Oh, man, we need to fill up our water soon. Goodness gracious. Oh, wow. What's your problem, bud? Are you okay? You're smoking. Oh, <laughs> you were working too hard. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see what we have. In terms of the silicon, we got a decent amount. So we should have enough to be able to finish up. Did the printer finish on its own? Uh, if I go printing, it doesn't show anything there. Oh, do I just print another one? Like, what would it have missed? You know, actually, no. It's not what we're doing right now. Let's just grab all this crap out of here. I know for a fact that I have more pipe in here, right? Oh, no, maybe not. I used it all up. Well, darn. And then uh, what do we need for the canteen? We definitely need a circuit board. I know that for a fact. Is it going to be under here? No. Canteen living, right? Yes. Uh, no, it doesn't require anything of that. And we got all the stuff we need for it. <laughs> yes. I thought it would have. I honestly, I thought it would have wanted a uh, circuit board. I'm surprised it doesn't. So with this canteen, we are going to be able to charge our suit inside our base. Oh, it's going to be a glorious day. A glorious day indeed. I'm just going to go fill up my water over here. Mm-hmm. In our bathroom, our beautiful... Uh, it's this way. I think it's this way. It is this way. Don't know my way around my own base yet. And let's go ahead and fill up our other suit too. Chargey charge. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's done. We got that. Now let's go check on all of our beautiful little plant babies. <gasps> oh, my gosh. We have potato plants and they're beautiful. Now, they are at 79.41%. Look at them. Look at them. There's plants in here <gasps> everywhere. Hey, okay, wait. Are there babies in here? Not that one. This one. Oh, plant babies. You're at 50%. Oh, I love you so much. Look how pretty you are. And you guys are at, um, oh, those are fully grown. Oh, you're fully grown too. Our beets are not quite fully grown yet. Not quite, but I'm going to leave these plants because I want them all to finish up. Uh, 83. Yeah. At the beginning of next episode, we are going to do all of our plants and stuff. That's a, that's a next episode task. Let's go through here. Do we need oxygen? Hmm. Wait a second. Is my health low? Oh, no. Yeah, our oxygen in the base is filling up. I think it's filling up faster now that we uh, sorted out the tanks, but I could be wrong. Let's just do that. I'm probably wrong. I'm usually wrong. <laughs> okay. I want to get this canteen up before we wrap up this episode. That is a goal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, obviously, because we need to add greenhouses and crap onto here. Hmm, how do we want to do this? I'm thinking we're going to have to add a corridor, which those guys are right here. Um, Let's do like a normal width window. Is that going to come out far enough? Do, 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 do. Is that going to be good? I guess let's try. And then I'm going to put a three-way thingy on here. Uh, this one, this multi-connector. Where is it? There it is. Just that way. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now, are we going to be able to fit the canteen beside this greenhouse? Because then we have the ability to come out this way. You know what? Maybe we should do a four way. Because then we would have the ability to come out this way also. Yep, that's what we're doing. Uh, actually, first, I need to see if I need to make that longer. So let's grab the canteen. 
under living there it is and oh yeah it fits perfect let's see let's get around to the other side how much room do we have oh my gosh that is just gonna work it's just gonna work i can't wait to get in there and charge our suit um hmm do we need a maybe another airlock over here we have that airlock way over there it'd be nice to have a way into the base over here you know you know you know okay first things first let's uh go ahead and throw a uh connector on here just like that and then maybe we add hmm i don't think i'm gonna do an airlock over here for now we'll worry about doing that later if we need it because uh it's not that far to run right so let's okay let's wall all this stuff up here we got those laid out we can go with the um and when i said greenhouse i meant the domes right because we probably i don't i don't know maybe we'll have multiple greenhouses i guess we're gonna see but the domes we got like small domes medium domes large domes oh we're gonna have a dome party <laughs> For sure. Um, but now we have the ability to go in two different directions from this connector. Um, having the canteen close by, I mean, why not, right? Food can be cooked in the canteen right next to all of our farming and stuff. We could eat over here. Okay, I want to see it. I want to see it. Uh, we better check our power situation. I think we're good. The canteen uh, uses a decent amount. It uses 14. But we're sending a lot of power here now. After last episode, all the upgrades we did to power and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I should put signs up. <laughs> so I know my way around. All right. Our bedrooms are near the canteen, which is actually kind of nice. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, it's empty. I didn't know it was empty. <laughs> I'm still remembering the tutorial one. Oh, look. Oh, hi there. Let me... Oh, okay. Is it filling up? Is it charging? Uh, battery 48, 54%, 59. It's hard to see. Oh my gosh. We're charging in our base. So in the morning we can wake up, fill our water, charge our suit, fill our oxygen tanks and continue on with our day. No one plug in cords. Oh, I love it so much. Uh, did it not charge all the way? It takes a long time. It does take a long time. A battery charger would be nice. Suit recharged. So we could just plop suits in it, like, you know, in Satisfactory. Similar to that would be great. Uh, I guess we probably want to throw down a food processing unit in here. Uh, do we, yeah, let's have it here where it was in, like, the tutorial. We're going to throw that right there. We don't really have any decorations and stuff to put in here. Are we able, uh, have the ability to put refrigerators in here? Oh, yes, we do. Okay, refrigerators let's go just with one of those for now we might need more in the future but we're just going to use one for now maybe we could throw uh storage in here also uh garage refrigerator number two yeah that can go in here too hmm oh we can put that right back there <laughs> okay might as well now we got tons of storage for seeds We'll put seeds in here, we'll put food in here, and we'll cook food in here. Looks like a mailbox. I'm not sure if I'm happy with where that is, but that's where we're gonna leave it for now. Guys, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. Um, yeah, you know, I don't think it's gonna be a shorter one. It, it feels like a shorter one for me recording it because I didn't have to go all over the place forever. But uh, yeah, drop a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think about um, what I mentioned earlier. Should I you know, focus on doing another save with a totally different date base plan and, and keep learning here? Or should I change the layout of this base? Give me your ideas, give me your thoughts. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button because yeah, guys, it really does help out the channel, helps us grow. We're growing fantastically, but we can grow more. We could do it and join the discord. And if you're not subscribed because like 90% of you guys aren't, hit that subscribe button. That way you're gonna be notified on when I go live or when my videos drop i haven't been live in a while but you never know you don't want to miss it all right everybody hope you have a fantastic day thanks for watching thanks for coming out we'll see you next time peace